What up, though? What up, though? And dog back with another video. Uh, we gonna talk about because this album don't get appreciated enough. At least I don't think it is. But this album is a, a, a classic. And I need to cut my hair. But anyways, dog. This album is a classic and it don't get talked about enough in my opinion. Like I don't really be seeing nobody, you know what I'm saying? Saying this and that and the third about this album. But I want to talk about Lloyd Banks, Hungry For More. The Hunger For More. That's a Mandela effect like a motherfucker because I could have sworn the album was called Hungry For More, but I think it's The Hunger For More. Y'all know what the fuck, whatever the fuck. Lloyd Banks debut album, Hungry For More, The Hunger For More. June Records, hit single, uh, on fire featuring 50 Cent. Now, I ain't putting nothing out. I smoke when I want a classic album, man, released back in 2004, dog. When G Unit was at its peak, when they was, you know, I mean, not at its peak, when they was, when they was doing that, when they was really, when G Unit was the shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? 50 Cent, Tony Ayo, Lloyd, uh, Lloyd Banks, Young Buck, and Game, you know, during those days, bro. That was the shit, man. G Unit had they had they shine too, and they don't get the appreciation shit that they deserve. But yeah, man. Lloyd Banks debut album, Hungry for More, fucking On Fire, I'm So Fly, uh, Warrior, and what was that other song, Karma, and uh, wasn't it another one? Uh, I think that was it. That was the singles. But yeah, man. First and foremost, bro, the album come on. Hard as fuck with Tony Ayo on the intro. Ain't no click. Then, this, I mean, what was that shit? Playboy. Like, um, Playboy is my favorite song. Oh, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. Playboy is my second favorite song. But Playboy, bro, he was spitting. Like, he, the bars, bro, on that motherfucker. That beat was crazy. I liked it, like, it, how it was, like, kind of concert. Kind of, like, a, on the concert side, bro. The crowd hype. The DJ. That shit was just hard as fuck, bro. And he was like really spitting them bars, man. But my favorite song on the album is for some reason, Can I Get High with Snoop Dogg. Like, I don't know what it is, bro. For some, like, cause I don't smoke, y'all. You know, everybody know me know I don't smoke. I don't know what it is, bro. But for some reason, on most albums, I always like the weed song the most. Like I said, I'm still mad at Smoking was like my favorite song. And like this, Can I Get High with Snoop Dogg. Like, I love that song. Like, that's my favorite song. And I don't even smoke. Like, I just, the beat, it, it's so chill and mellow and it's, it's fire. And you got you got big Snoop Dogg on there. The OG, you know what I'm saying? The hunk and hip hop, bro. But yeah, like, I, I know this whole song by heart, man. I know when I got a problem, I keep coming back for these dodo bags and not your yak or your sack of seeds. Chill, sit back on the sofa and relax my knees. Rolling up, loose enough to make the baggage breathe. I blow a heavy load, can attract some cheese. Cause I'm smoker, too much of this could choke you. I don't even provoke you, but I'm a bad influence. Musician can operate without his instrument. Classic, bro. I just, I fucking love that record, man. I ended the club with baggies of that chocolate. Second hand smoker, make a nigga wanna start shit. Man, I love that whole song, dog. That shit is just fire. But you wanna know something else, dog? work magic that's just like the anthem bro like that's like one of the anthems when like one of the, the like the beast in boxing about to come out it gave you that feeling uh like rocky four when drago came out you know if if that's when you put that song on i feel like floyd mayweather about to come out and beat everybody ass mike tyson or you go to wrestling put that record on stone cold about to come out and beat everybody ass dog that work magic is so fucking hard you got young buck on there i i, I wanted i, I like i would have been better it would have been better if lloyd was by itself but that shit was just so fucking hard man but yeah i like uh to the end if the chips are down yeah of course the singles yeah on fire though that was my shit like i was like okay Cause niggas knew about Young Buck. I mean, uh, Lloyd Banks, my bad. Niggas knew about Lloyd. But when he came out with his own shit, I wasn't expecting that. On Fire, I liked it to beat. The, uh, you know, fucking video was hard. The all black, you know, I, I wear all black all the time. Fucking, uh, yeah, it was just everything was, was fire about that video. 
and the title, like the title was different, you know. I just, I just love that shit. And Lloyd Banks can really rap, bro. He can, he can spit, man. Even all his latest shit, the shit that he dropped a couple years back, a year, you know, his recent shit. He still got it. Lloyd still got it. He ain't never lost it, man. So yeah, what else you got on that motherfucker? Uh, uh, work magic. Fucking uh, damn, I can't think of these songs right now. But y'all get what I'm saying, man. Fire ass album, man. That shit definitely get five mics out of me. And when he came back with Rotten Apple, I really wasn't feeling that. Cause that's how it be, man. They let you do what you want with the first album. But you know, when they see how, you know, like if you was gonna flop or pop, obviously Lloyd Banks pop. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, we need to bring you back for a second album, but we want you to do it this way. Cause you can tell, bro. You could tell, like, niggas always, like, look with 50 Cent when uh, Get Rich or Die Trying came out. And what he do? The uh, Massacre. That shit was way different from Get Rich or Die Trying. The Hunger for More, Hungry for More was way different from Rotten Apple. Like, it just, it just be like that, bro. Like, if they really fucking with you or not. Game album, his second album, Doctor's Advocate, was still hard because he, he did that kind of on his own. And he was with one of them independent labels. They let you still rock how you want to rock. But the album still did what it did, you know? And, uh, yeah, bro. But, uh, yeah, man, that, uh, that, uh, Hunger for More, uh, Hunger for More, that's, that's, that's a classic album in my books. Five mics out of five, man. They said favorite song is Can I Get High? Second favorite, Work Magic. I mean, Playboy, then Work Magic. But, yeah, uh, I, I love that to the end. The one with uh, Game. What was that? Is it called When the Chips Are Down? Yeah, and then I like how uh, Tony, I mean, not Tony Ayo, my bad. Rest in peace to Nate Dog on the, uh, to the end. It's just like, yeah, man. That, that album, it, it don't get talked about enough, bro. It don't. That nigga, that album deserved its praise. And back in the day, when that album dropped, that's niggas was on that. Yeah, yo, you hear this shit? This shit is fire, G. Like this shit is fire, dog. And niggas was really talking about that shit, bro. Back then, so I'm wondering, like, why niggas don't, you know, what's up with niggas not discussing it now? This album is a masterpiece, bro. I. Next to Get Rich to Die Trying, he got the fucking second hardest album, debut album out of the group. For real, though, you know what I'm saying? He got the second hardest, because, like, I, I, I mean, of course, I put the Doctor's Advocate over that, but, you know, game didn't really last long with G-Unit like that, so I'm a, you know, the actual G-Unit niggas. That shit was way harder than, uh, what was that shit that Tony Ayo dropped? I ain't even care for that. Um, and then uh, Young Buck came with Straight Outta Cashville. Straight Outta Cashville gotta be number three. And uh, Tony Ayo shit number four. Ain't none of them albums fucking with Get Rich or Die Trying, though. We already know that. But yeah, man. We, uh, Lloyd Banks, The Hunger for More, Hungry for More. What's your favorite song on the album, man? Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know. You can give me your favorite song, two, top three, top five, whatever. You know, let me know how y'all feel about it. You know, and if you ain't rocking with it, I want to know why. Because I feel like that's an album you cannot say ain't hard, ain't fire. And that album is definitely one of them ones, man. And it deserved the credit. It, it deserved its credit. Because Lloyd was really spitting. Lloyd got bars, man. He can really rap. And I knew that because uh, when I got hip to him, you know how I be. Niggas want to uh, check you out. After your first album, so I, uh, it, cause the nigga that I we used to be cool with back in high school, he was he was like Lloyd Banks out man. That was his favorite rapper, so he knew I could I gave a fuck about music, cause that's all I be on man. I'm just a new, I'm a music guy man, so he always would come at me trying to get me to listen to this that and the third, and I wasn't trying, cause I wasn't really into mixtapes like that, and he played Money in the Bank the first one. And I was like, yo, this man can really rap. 
he can really fucking rap, dog. And he, he fucking nice, bro. And I and I like how Lloyd Banks is just chill. He's he's mellow. He's quiet. You know what I'm saying? He, he keep to himself. He don't be in all the bullshit. You know. And, he, and then even on other the other G Unit shit and uh, the the Beg for Mercy album, man. I'm about to, I'm probably gonna talk about that Beg for Mercy next because that was a problem for sure. That album was a problem. But yeah, man, Lloyd Banks is the truth, man. He don't get he don't get his credit enough, I feel. But yeah, man, hunger for more, the hunger for more, hungry for more. My bad. Lloyd Banks debut album. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Sent dog, the biggest dog of them all. If I left out anything, let me know, cause I'm really feeling like I am. The intro, Playboy. Oh, if you so, was 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 that shit? Is if you so gangster on there, or is that on the Beg for Mercy album? Cause yeah, I I, I just uh, thought about that. If you so gangster. That's my shit, but I, I don't think that's on that album. If it is, let me know. If not, my bad, y'all. But yeah, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Is that dog the biggest dog of them all? Lloyd Banks, the hunger for more, hungry for more. And the dog is out.